Hi guys, hope you're okay. Today, I've got a Tesco's food haul for you. A little bit different um, from normal. I apologise for this. Uh, <laughs> it's Friday. Normally I have the groceries delivered on a Saturday. Um, but if you don't know, I live in Cornwall and it's the summer season. Uh, as such, we get a lot of tourists and it gets quite hard to get a Saturday slot that fits when you're getting your home delivery because a lot of people get them delivered to campsites and things when they're doing, doing self-catering holidays in Cornwall so this week I forgot to book my Sainsbury's slot early um, after my drama with Asda last week I couldn't face going back to them uh, if you haven't watched, la watched last week's video it'll be around here somewhere for those of you interested I still haven't had all my money refunded True story. So, uh, I thought I'd give Tesco's a go. I haven't had Tesco's delivered in so long. Um, not because there's anything wrong with Tesco's. It's just Sainsbury's is kind of my safe place when it comes to supermarket shopping. But yeah, thought we'd give Tesco's a go. This came to £78.11. Um, had to have it delivered on a Friday night because they had no Saturday slots either um, that worked for me um, but they had a Friday one so I took that delivery driver was lovely old boy really nice my slot was booked between 8 and 9 25 past 8 really happy super friendly wasn't scared of the dogs gave him a fuss offered to give him a biscuit I said no um, but yeah really nice delivery driver um, yeah I think I've said but just in case I didn't 78 pounds 11p um, I had three substitutions, I kept two, the one I sent back, um, I ordered some pineapple party platters, uh, if you've not noticed, have a slight pineapple obsession, um, they substituted them for like standard tin foil ones that were technically more expensive than the thing I ordered, but not what I wanted so I sent them back. Um, I kept the other two substitutions so, so I'll show you those in a minute and oh they had one item that um, I ordered that they didn't have and they didn't have a suitable substitution which was some cabanos they have an amazing Polish range online um, at Tesco's uh, cabanos is a Polish very thin Polish salami type sausage they didn't have any that's fine and um, there was something else. Oh, they the cocktail sausages had a short date, but they're fine for what we need them for. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and show you the shopping. I know I'm meant to be showing you the shopping. I've just realized I ordered, here's my receipt. I ordered Polish crunchy salty pretzels. They're not here, but they're on my receipt. So I'll show you the shopping. And then I'm going to ring them and sadly they'll give me a refund rather than sending the man back with my pretzels. <laughs> oh, okay, let's show you the shopping. And the overview looks like that. Okay, so we only got the one bottle of Diet Pepsi this week. Uh, because we're going to try really hard and not have pop um, Monday to Friday. It's just going to be a Saturday, Sunday thing. And I bought the Tesco's meal deal, which came with six bottles of Diet Coke. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I've got some almond milk for John's breakfast smoothies. Uh, we've got four pints of skimmed milk for coffees. Um, John doesn't drink tea. I drink tea black, so it literally is just coffee. Uh, then we've got some lovely looking Polish bread from the Polish Bakery, London. Um, they do a few different types. John likes this one. We also get the small loaf because we never eat a full loaf of bread. So got that. And then couldn't help myself. Polish napkin. Polish? <laughs> Pineapple napkins. Couldn't help myself. I needed them. Okay, so this was uh, one of our substitutions. Um... I ordered pretty much this this exact thing. Um, the only difference I can tell is 
Uh, this one states eight slices and the other pack had a weight on it. That's the only difference. It's the same brand. It's the same thing. Um, but this says slices and the other pack said weight. That's... So, yeah, that's that. These are the cocktail sausages that have not a great date. It's got the 15th. Today is, I think, the 12th. Is it the 11th, 12th today? But yeah, 15th. And then the other substitution is these. I ordered some Tesco's cherry tomatoes. They've substituted them for sugar drop tomatoes. Never heard of them, but it does say exclusively grown for Tesco's. Um, I have no idea what a sugar drop tomato is. But it's these. They look very much like on the vine cherry tomatoes, but yeah. Um... <laughs> I got some grated mozzarella. I got a bag of these Walker's Poppables in barbecue flavour. I got this. I love this. This is Tim Buck, um apple and mint drink. Uh, I got the glass bottle. They do it in cartons, but it tastes different. And I don't know if it's because the drink goes colder when you have it in a fridge in a glass bottle than you do in a carton. Um, and obviously if you put ice with it, it waters it down. But oh, this stuff out of the glass bottle is lovely. Um, and I think it's like 60p. So yeah, this is my favourite flavour, the apple and mint. But I also rather like the apple and cherry. They're good. And yeah, I say, cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, I got, so, oh, these are my Moroccan slippers that I bought in Morocco forever ago. How lovely do they look with my chubby legs? Uh, got some garlic, ball of mozzarella, some cream cheese, and some square cheese to go on burgers. This is my snack for tonight. Tesco Finest Belgian Chocolate Mousse. Looking forward to that. Um, where are we going? Uh, I've got two red peppers. I've got two different types of these sushi snack packs. Um, this is for my lunch tomorrow. John has got a rather busy weekend. Last night he went to the pub with his friend um, who was over from, I think, New Zealand. Uh, tonight he's gone to Tintagel with some other friends. And uh, on Saturday he's going to rugby with it's Cornwall versus Devon. So a lot of time this weekend on me Todd. But that means I get to eat sushi because John doesn't really like it. Uh, pack of strawberries, pack of avocados, they are a good size. The ones I had from Asda last week were tiny and they were hard as heck and the, you know, 12 hour window when they were actually edible or felt edible, we opened them up and they were all stone. So these are very nice size. Um, oh, not that impressed with this. So I got the Tesco meal deal. Um, this, supposedly, is a mixed berry trifle for two. Now, maybe if you're healthy, well, I suppose, only half of that. Jeez, so the whole thing is like over 600 calories. That is calorie dense. Wow. But, like, looking at the packet, John could eat that by himself. But, <laughs> got a trifle. Um, and then we've got two different types of mushrooms. I've got these giant ones. Large flat mushrooms. I just think they look lovely. And then we've got some just normal white mushrooms. Dental sticks for the puppies because we're running low. Beetroot salad. Love that stuff. These. Yes. Um, so they're sugar-free, so they're not that bad. But anything that's watermelon flavour, I'm in. Um, I love this kind of thing. So that's mine. Got three of these Nutella Reese's Reese's nut bars. They're really yummy. I think it was like three for a pound. We've got a little tub of coleslaw, a little tub of potato salad. Um, I got a cauliflower. Oh, I bought some of this. This is ground almonds. I am going to attempt to make a pizza crust using that <laughs> let's hope i stay brave but yeah apparently this is going to become pizza um i got carried away with salad so i got some mi crispy mixed leaf salad some spinach and 
a bowl because it had edamame beans in, which I love. Um, I got some prawns. What's back here? Oh, I got digestives. Um, we made schmores for the first time last weekend over the fire pit, and I think we're going to do them again this weekend if the weather stays nice um, on Sunday. And then I got some raspberry Jaffa cakes. These are Polish. They're amazing. I prefer the cherry ones, but it's not often you see the cherry ones in England. I normally have to go to Poland for those. Spinach, I've already said. I've got some of the bare naked noodles. They're really good. Low in calories, low in carbs. Super good. Brussels sprouts, because I like them. Um, did I show you prawns? We got prawns. Asparagus. This was the other part of the meal deal. So we got this trio of cabbage and pancetta. And then a chicken. It's chicken and something. Chicken and potato topped pie. And then I've got a tiny, tiny, uh, from the butchery section, four little skinny sausages. Four Tesco Finest Beef Burgers. Ooh. I got one steak for John. Um, I'm not really into steak at the moment. Uh, but I got a ribeye steak for John. And when he has this, my plan is to do stuffed big flat mushrooms for myself. So, yeah, everyone will be happy. This. Yes. So Tesco Finest Eight Oak and Beach Smoked Wiltshire Cured Bacon Medallions. They look lovely. And then some minted lamb kebabs. Two little items from the frozen section. Some Twister mini ice creams. They're really yummy. And corn dogs because Tesco's is the only place I know that sells these. Both me and John love them. Hey guys, so I'm just putting the shopping away. Rang um, Tesco's. I spoke to a really nice chap called Ian. He was lovely. Um, and yeah, he said he's going to ring the driver for me and get him to come back. And it's probably just fallen out of the tray, which is fine because he says it's showing on his system that it's left. They definitely packed one. So uh, apparently the driver's really local. So he's just going to give him a quick ring and get him to pop back with it. So how nice is that? Rather than Because I, I, to be fair, I know you guys who watch this know that pretzels are kind of like my drug of choice. And... Uh, yeah, I'm really happy that they're prepared to just... It's probably only going to take the guy like five minutes because the guy on the phone said he's literally like five minutes away from the house. So, happy. But yeah, that is this week's groceries. I'm super impressed with Tesco's customer service. Uh, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, share. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, really is the end of the video now. But I just rewatched that back and realised I've had a great big dirty bit of herb stuck in my tooth that entire video. Apologies if that has irritated anybody, but um, I've started putting it away so I can't record it, but yeah, sorry for the herb stuck in my tooth, guys. Hope you have a great weekend.